Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in my last video, I showed you how you can create a Copilot agent that can call Microsoft Graph API. So if you have not seen that video, check out the description for the link. Because in last video, if you have seen that, when we were deploying our Copilot to Microsoft Teams, it was not using single sign-on. That means that when users are going to use my Copilot agent, they need to at least once create the connections. So in this video, I will walk you through how you can create a single sign-on with any of your agents that you are trying to publish to the Teams channel. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So to enable the single sign-on with Copilot agent deploy to Microsoft Teams, primarily you need to do two things. One, creating an app registration for your agent and then connecting your Microsoft Teams information with the agent, okay? So let's jump on to the first one and then we will continue on the second configuration. So to configure the app registration and if you have not done this before, you need to go to the portal.azure.com and app registration. Now, not necessary that you may have this access in your organization. So you can ask your IT admin to give you or create this app registration for you and get the information that we need for the single sign-on to work. I'm gonna walk you through the process of app registration as well, so you will know how to do it. So once you are in your portal.azure.com, you will click on app registration, click on new registration, okay? And then you need to provide the name. This name can be anything that you like. Okay, now we have multiple options here. Depending on what is your tenants looks like, you can select the correct one. Uh, for me, is the first one that I'm allowing this app registration to be used by only the organization that I'm creating, so that is my tenant, okay? You can leave any other information as it is, click register. This will take a couple of minutes and it's gonna create your app registration. Once you are on this page, you need to click on authentication, okay? And click on add platform for web. And in the redirect URL, you need to use the HTTPS colon token.botframework.com slash dot auth slash web slash redirect. This is a fixed URL. You don't need to change it. You can use the same URL. This is from Microsoft, okay? And then you will click configure. Once this is done, you will click on add URI. And here you're gonna type this URL. And you will get a check mark confirming that yes, this URL is correct. And this is also again a fixed URL. I'm gonna put the link of different documentations that talk about all of this. So if you wanna read, you can go ahead and read that as well. Okay, and we're gonna select both access token and ID token based authorization. Okay and rest of the information you can keep as it is, click save. Okay, so this part is done, we created the platform. This is nothing but we are letting this app registration know that what platform app registration is going to be used for. And this is token.bot framework, this is nothing but our Copilot platform, okay? Now we're gonna go to certificate and secrets, okay? We're gonna create a new client secret that we will use in our Copilot. So click on new client secret, you're gonna give a name, okay? And expiration depending on your need. I'm gonna keep it whatever default is. Click add, okay? So this will create this secret ID and value. Make sure that you copy it because once you exit out from this screen and come back, you won't be able to see the value. So I'm gonna keep the keep this safe somewhere, okay? So app registration part is done for, for now. We're gonna come back and make some more changes here. But now we will go back to our agent. So this is the agent, as I said, if you have not seen my previous video where I showed you how you can create this agent, highly recommend it, go back and watch that video so you will know what this copilot is all about. But if you have any other copilot that you're trying to deploy to Microsoft Teams, this method will work with that as well. So the only thing you need to do, go to your copilot and start going to the settings, security, and then we're gonna click on authentication and change the authenticate manually, okay? And you can see this redirect URL. This is the URL, if you remember, we were using. So we have told our app registration that what is the platform. Now let's select the service provider is of course, ADV2 client ID, 
okay that's the client id that we need to get from the app registration that we just did so if you go to your app registration here and overview you can see the client id here if you are creating this app registration it's easy for you to go back and check it if you are asking someone else make sure that you ask them to provide you this client id copy it paste it okay then it's going to ask for the client secret this is the one that we just created so i'm going to copy that so if you go to client id client secret this one okay it's going to keep the tenant id by default to so keep it token exchange url this we will update later on for now make sure that scope is profile open id click save okay so this was the standard part or part one of setting up this sso with teams so we created the app registration and we created um, authentication for our copilot now we need to go and connect this with our microsoft team where we are deploying it so i'm going to close this now from your agent page i'm going to click on channels and we're going to select microsoft teams from here make sure that this is turned on so if you are not connected to microsoft teams you will see a message here turn on teams make sure you click it and you should see something like this okay you're going to click edit details scroll down click on more and we're going to copy this app id so this is the app id for our microsoft team so i'm going to copy it now we are going back to the app registration and linking these two together okay we're going to click on expose an api okay and on this screen we're going to click on this application id uri click add it's going to show you one default url here we're going to replace this with what we have just copied so we're going to copy paste it so this is our url it's going to say it's wrong of course it is wrong and how it should be it should be api colon slash okay so api colon dollar slash bot id hyphen this is the standard so you need to keep this in front and then replace this with your app id for the themes that we just copied from the copilot okay click save okay so this is created so we created the application id url the next thing we will go we will provide the permission for this api so go to the api permission okay then we're going to click on add permission click on microsoft graph delegate permission and we're going to search for open id profile click on add permission here okay these are the permission require the admin consent so we're going to click on grant admin consent for me click yes and this will create consent for all of these three that we have here okay so we created the delegated api permission for graph to use this open id and profile and also user dot read now we're going to go back to expose an api and we're going to add the scope for this api okay so we're going to click on add scope now scope name it's required but it is more what you want to call it right so i'm going to call it okay and you can give any name as you, as you want. We're going to select admin and user. So who can use it? If, you are, if I'm creating this bot only for admins, then I can select admins only. But I'm creating this for everyone. So I have selected admin and user. Okay. And display name, I'm going to use the same. And also the, the description, you can type what this is for. And here I'm saying this is for allow user to single sign in. Okay. This should be enabled. Click add scope. Okay. So now we created the application id we also added a scope now we're gonna register an application the client application that will be using these this api for single sign-on so click on add a client application okay now here what we are trying to say that microsoft teams is actually going to use this app now microsoft teams as you know is a application of microsoft yes we use it but this is actually an application in microsoft azure tenant right so there is a predefined api client id for that and i will paste it here and i will also add a link for the documentation that talk about this okay so this is the client id for microsoft teams and then we're going to select this this is our api that we have just created we're going to click on add application okay we're going to click another time add a client application because the client id that we just added it is for microsoft teams mobile and desktop so that is for the de desktop app or the mobile another that we have this one this is for microsoft web so if you are 
planning to use or deploy this agent and you are 100% sure that nobody is going to use the Microsoft Teams web for this agent, you don't need to do this step. You can just register your client ID for Microsoft Teams mobile and desktop and skip the web. But if you think that this is going to be used by both web and desktop, you should just create this two times. Perfect, right? So we added both of them. Now we're going to go back to our Copilot agent and update the single sign-on URL. Okay. So we're going to go back to the channel. Okay. I'm going to click settings, security, authentication. Okay. Now we have here token access URL required for SSO, right? If you go back to your app registration, expose an API, you have the scope here, copy that. And this is going to be our token exchange URL. Click save. Okay, so we have created the, the token exchange URL. Now we're gonna go back or can close this. And now we're gonna go to the actual Microsoft Teams detail and create that single sign-on. So I'm gonna from the channels, I'm gonna click on Microsoft Teams. We will click on edit details. Okay, and I'm also gonna select these two because I want my user to add this agent to their team and also in the group chat. But here we can click on more. And now we're gonna put this application client ID and resource URL. The application client ID is nothing but your client ID of this app registration that you just created. So if you go back to your app registration and copy this client ID. Okay, so this is your client ID, client ID or application client ID. Okay, and then resource URI, you're going to paste the application ID URI from the same app registration. You have this application ID URI. So copy that, go back to the channel and paste it. Click save. Okay, so all the configuration and setting is done. Now what we need to do, we need to publish this agent again and open it from the Teams. So click publish. Okay, publish is done. Now keep in mind one thing. When you set up all this authentication in here on this screen, you will start seeing this login button. Why? Because we have set up an authentication. But when you're going to publish to the teams, that's where the single sign-on is going to work. So single sign-on will not work on this screen. Keep in mind. Okay. So I'm going to click on Microsoft Teams, open agent. I'm going to use the web. Okay. And then it will ask you to add. So I'm going to click add, open. I'm going to start asking the same question as we have asked in my previous video. So I'm asking what is my task? There we go. So this time, if you remember, previously it was asking us to create the connection and then giving me the deal. Now it is working without asking any login or any connection confirmation. Yeah, so this is for this video. Uh, make sure that you follow each step because if you miss one step, this might not work as you expected. And leave the comment. We're going to continue the series. If you want to learn more about anything related to Copilot or any other co specific Copilot that you're trying to build, feel free to leave the comment and I may create a video on that. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you.